Why, hello there, YouTube audience, fans, haters, newcomers, robots. All right, enough of that. Let's get down to business. So, <clears throat> Bill Maher. Bill, 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 Bill. Bill! Bill Maher, the nigger guy. That's right. He is now, like Michael Richards, become a nigger guy. Because he made the fatal error of having uh, having made a joke. Having made a joke using a nigger in it. And that's the thing. That's the thing, guys. He didn't even say nigger. He said nigger. Uh, and, he's, and he's still in hot water. Um, but he's getting... He's getting chilled out now, uh, chilled out by the ice cube. He's he's putting the freeze on 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 his bad his bad actions. Uh, <clears throat> so here, here's here's the situation. We'll, we'll 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 play the clips, and I'll talk about it. I just want to know two questions. What made you think that it was cool to say that? You know, I I just that's one question. I just explained it. it, it there was no thought put into it. Obviously, I was telling Dr. Dyson, comedians, they react. And it was wrong, and I apologized. And, you know, I, more than that, I can't do. I accept your apology. But I still think we need to get to the root of the psyche. Because I think it's a lot of guys out there who cross the line because they're a little too familiar or they think they too familiar, or is guys that, you know, they might have a black girlfriend or two that made them some Kool-Aid every now and then, and they think they can cross the line, and they can't. You know, it's a word that has been used against us. It's like a knife, man. And you can use it as a weapon, or you can use it as a tool. It's been used as a weapon against us by white people. And we're not going to let that happen again by nobody because it's not cool. It, now, I know you heard it's in, the, it's in the lexicon, everybody talking, but that's our word now. That's our word now. And you can't have it back. I know they're trying to get it back. This guy, and I'm not talking about you, yeah, Bill. I mean, I'm, I'm not, not talking about you, Bill. Okay. But I'm talking about guys who cross the line every day because they got some black homies they got some friends they think it's cool and it's not cool because when i hear my homie say it it don't feel like venom when i hear a white person say it it feel like that knife stabbing me even if they don't mean it so you know i like your show and it's a great show and i just don't know sometimes is this a political show or is it a show about jokes and sometimes, it's sometimes tough. the jokes, I know I understand the, the format and, you know, you got to say it's a comedian show, but this, to me, is a political show. And I think you just have to uh, not step on some of the political messages that you're saying with a joke, because some things just ain't funny, you know what I mean? Some, this is real right here I, that I, we're going through. And I'm, I'm not trying to get on your case, Bill. I'm telling you, I like your show, I like you, but I think this is a teachable moment, not just to you, but to the people that's watching right now. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I'm not, I'm okay. not, I'm but not I, I think to, the people I, watching right now are, are saying that point has been made. Not by me. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, man. But you, but you made it. I, mean, I made it, you know, I made I it, mean, I'm done, I mean, and we can laugh now. We can tell jokes. Okay. Would you like uh, so, yeah, uh, Basically, Bill Maher made the joke, you know, saying, "No, oh, yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a field nigga, I'm a house nigga." Uh, you know, that's, that's actually kind of funny. But then, um, Ice Cube's all like, "Man, that's not cool. That's not cool." Uh, oh, feel, feels like, feels like you stabbing. Feels like I'm being stabbed when I hear white people say that. But when I, when I hear my homies say that, it's chill. It's chill, nigga. And it's like that's the thing. He reveals it right there. The whole nigga term is 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 it's just a trap card. It's a, it's a it's a double ploy. You know, it's it's an, ex it's an exclusionary tactic. 
it sets blacks apart from everybody else because apparently the people that you know use it that's that's how they want it to be you know they they use it as a you know term term of camaraderie amongst themselves but you know the wrong person says it and it's like but what you saying you saying nigger you saying nigger you being racist and it's like whoa dude chill out no like but you know they that that that's the thing about it it doesn't even matter if you're like, no, no, you know, like, if, if they want to, they'll just attack you, possibly, and be like, no, you said nigger, and then just, you know, start attacking you, because it's a trap card. So, I can't stand people that, you know, people that use it uh, as a part of their uh, regular vocabulary. Uh, to me, I've only seen it be used by the stupidest people consistently i never i never see it be uh frequently or consistently or persistently used by intelligent individuals uh, especially not ones with respect self-respect especially 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 so yeah um i think that it's really stupid that bill maher apologized because here's the thing uh i thought he was an advocate for free speech I'm certainly an advocate for free speech. Uh, virtue signaling. Woo! Uh, no, but for real though, free speech is important. That's why the, the First Amendment is what it is. So, um, my gosh. The fact that he apologized is just sad. It's sad. It's pathetic. You know, he's supposed to be this uh, big name, hot shot comedian, you know, been rocking the comedy ring master for how many years? But it's like, wow, dude! Now you're, now you're, you know, curtailing. You're bowing down. Uh, you're, po you're apologizing. Apologize. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta bend over and kiss Jesse Jackson's black ass, even though he's not the king of black people. That's that's a South Park reference, hey guys. I used, to, I watched that show. Oh, we all, if you if you watch it too, you get the reference, and then we share that in common. Oh my gosh. Wow, relating to other people makes makes me feel weird. Oh, what the crap is the review your privacy settings coming up when I'm filming my video? Oh my gosh, remind me later to kick your butt, computer. Anyways, back to this nigger crap. So yeah, uh, anyone should be able to say the word. And if black people want people to stop using it in a derogatory fashion... Well then, just stop using it all together. Let's let's uh, let's hear from Oprah. Let's get her take on this. So you know, I've been um, you know known for not being a big fan of rap music because of misogynist lyrics and because of the use of the N word. And in the magazine, we discussed uh, the use of the N word and why I feel everybody knows that I feel that we shouldn't be, you know, singing the N-word. You obviously feel differently, and... A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, and tell, tell everybody why. Um, what we have discussed is, is, is more of uh, words. People give words power. Yeah. You know, and for our generation, what we did was we took the word and we took the power out of that word. Mm -hmm. You know, we turned a word that was very ugly and hurtful into a term of endearment. So, I mean, even when someone says it, there's still intention behind what you say. Mm -hmm. But um, pretty much took the power out of the word. Because if we just start removing words from the dictionary, just make up another word the next day. So we don't address the problem. The problem is racism, right? That's really the problem. So we, d we disagree. Yeah. Yeah. And what I said is, I guess my generation's just going to have to die out. We're just going to have to all just be dead. At <laughs> this point, I was saying, I was saying, well, from the grave, I'll be go, Jay, I still did <laughs> And the you reason... You don't have to say that. <laughs> and the reason I feel that way, because my generation and generations before me, obviously, coming up through the civil rights movement, and I am where I am because there was a... Uh, there was a generation before me that fought for civil rights, and that word carries such um, a sense of hatred and degradation. And I always think about when I hear the word, even when I'm at the concert and people are, you know, screaming it at your concert, I, I think about black men who were lynched, and that's the last word they heard. 
And so that, that comes from my generation. <clears throat> See, now Oprah, Oprah is one of those people that is opposed to the usage of the word and does not think that people are able to, quote, take it back, you know, whatever that means. Like, oh, it's our word now. We use it and it's cool. And, there's, you know, we're, we're getting rid of the bad by using a different. No, you're not getting rid of the bad. The bad still exists and you're just perpetuating its, its, its existence by, you know, calling it up through this, you know, different form. If you just let it go, then it would go away. So every time they say nigga, they just keep nigger around. They keep it around. They perpetuate the stereotype. It fuels racism. It's ridiculous. It would be like, you know, walking around saying honky or cracker or like, you know, whitey or something. Or, uh, I don't know. What else? Like, uh... I don't know of any, like, you don't hear, uh, like, Asians calling each other chinks or gooks. Like, you just, you don't hear that happening, you know? Or they don't, I don't think they have other forms of those words either. Like, you know, like, chill, you know, you're my bro forms of those words. I don't think that exists. Like, 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 gook to, to, to geek? Like, what's up, my geeks? Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Like, like maybe maybe chinks to, to, to chonk? Like, what are my chonks? Like, no, I don't see that happening. Apparently, black people are very unique in that they thought that they could reclaim a word, but I don't even believe that. I think that the, uh, the whole time, the, the you know, first person that started using it, they were like, you know what, you know what, you know what, shit. We, we, we can constantly have a, a racist victim card by modifying this word just a little bit and then saying that it's, it's it's good, but then but then we always accuse people of mispronunciating. So we 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 be like, nah, nah, you didn't say nigga, you said nigger, you said nigger, you 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 were saying it with a hateful infliction. I th I think that was I think that was from the very start. So, yeah, uh, people if they want the word to go away, they should just stop using it. But obviously, people aren't gonna stop using it. It's hilarious, you know. Uh, like, uh, there, it, it, it's a word that's funny because it rhymes. Like, like he's the bigger nigger. <laughs> oh, that's that's funny. Uh, like, ah, gosh, people just need to chill out. You know, uh, I I have withstood a, a myriad of bullying throughout the course of my life. You know, I was made fun of. Uh, they called me Nintendo. Uh, because you know, I was so obsessed with video games and stuff. I got called, you know, fat, stupid, piece of shit, idiot, faggot, and retard, moron, dumbass, bitch, pussy. Uh, a whole slew of bad words. Man, this video is super restricted mode now. Oh my gosh, that was kind of a lot right there. But point is, you know, they're words, right? Like, are you dead? Did I just, Did I just slay you? From those sounds that I, you know, uttered, no. <clears throat> so, uh, I I, th I find it funny that the situation uh, came to the point where it did, where you know we now have Bill Maher apologizing for having done nothing wrong, for for having exercised his constitutional rights. Th this is this is where you start to weaken the fabric of our society. Uh, so, to Bill Maher, I say, Bill Maher, you suck. Uh, on a side note, thank you. I can add this to my series of sucks series now. Uh, cool, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about the pauses, guys. I'm just doing this free form with no script. I wrote a script, but I kind of just disregarded it entirely, because I don't really care. I, I just like speaking and getting, it, uh, getting my thoughts out as they come to me. Walk to the beat of my own drum. You can't outdo me. I slow rap. So I don't got speed for crap. You're running marathons. I'm on the couch taking a nap. Rat. Okay, um, that's retarded. Sorry for that. Um, this video's done now. Please like, share, and subscribe. 
to my YouTube channel here and uh, become a patron. Give me money every month. It can be just a dollar. You know, that'd be that'd be super, super awesome. Then I'd uh, have more money and I'd make more videos. I promise. I swear to God. If you guys actually, if I, if I had more money, I'd actually then make more videos. It's just so much effort and I need sleep because I have like, you know, an actual job. So, uh, yeah, the life is fun. Life isn't gay. I love it every day. Ah. All right, that was like your third special gift of retardation. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. <laughs> God bless us, everyone. But seriously, thanks for watching. Once again, like, share, subscribe. Uh, hit up the Facebook page. Uh, I'm still banned. I'm still banned for like a week uh, because I said niggers on Facebook. You know, you can say it on YouTube apparently, but uh, apparently those Jews that control Facebook, that Mark Zuck Kikeberg, whatever, eh, he he's not too keen on that. So you got to watch what you say over on Facebook. But on YouTube, you can be... <laughs> you can be... As restricted mode as you want, just about until, you know, there's there's the, the live leak threshold, you know? If you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. The, the live leak threshold, where content goes beyond something created for people's viewing entertainment and is mainly just something that's real footage that's graphic and tragic. And uh, it's probably going to scar you for life, potentially, so... Uh, yeah, shouldn't that should be content that people are aware that they're getting into before they get into? I, I, that's what the live leak line is. But yeah, we don't cross that here. We just stay in restricted mode, Because I said grab him by the pussy, like Donald Trump, like the like the president. The president said it's okay, so now I I think it's okay. Well, okay, it is okay actually, because he never said without their consent. He said they let you. He said they let you. So that means that they, you have their permission. When a person is allowing something, they're giving their consent. You know, if I let you in my house, then I consented for you to be in my home. That's another way that you could phrase that. So when he says that they let you, you know, you can grab them by the pussy. He's he's saying that they, they want it and then they let you and then, you know, you, you can do things then when they, when they let you. They're like, you can touch me. So it, it's, it's the let and then the can. All right, this is way off topic, and I'm going to close the video again with another like, share, subscribe. Another like, share, subscribe. Another like, share, subscribe. Black Tiger. Peace. I really hope ducking down like this took me out of frame. Oh jeez. How do you how do you end the video? Black tiger. <laughs>